Hey, we're finally black, finally, finally black, finally back with uh, Jumpstart Third Grade. Oh my gosh, <laughs> my goodness, I almost said black. <laughs> Weird, huh? Well, anyway, yeah, I just said my life's been really stressful lately. Yeah, but here I am relaxing with the game. No time to pat ourselves on the back. Select another question so we can save another robot. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Click on the yellow start button if you want to hear this question. Bologna, frankfurters, wieners, and salami. They're all types of sausage. Sausage is a mixture of flavorful meat that's wrapped in the casing and cooked. And that's no bologna. What was the outside of the world's first sausage made of? Daddy's mother put everything she had into making her homemade sausages. They were so odiferous. Daddy used to say they tasted like her old socks. So I guess that's what sausages are made with. Old socks. What? Ew. Mm, mm, mm. That's the secret ingredient. Old socks have been used for centuries as the casing for sausages. Now you know where socks go when they disappear from the laundry. Imagine that. Sausages made from old socks. What'll Polly think of next? We can put a stop to this. We can suck it to Polly once and for all. Click on the inventory button to put away the transquizzer. Hold on, let me turn up the volume real quick. Alright. Not so fast, Hose Breath. I've got Sockbot on my side, and he's stepping out into history. If you want to follow his soft footsteps, you'll need to find these four clues first. A hot dog, a cloth, a piece of coal, and a motorboat. Huh. Sockbot, the smelly robot? I can't believe they let him out of his shoe. I wouldn't subject people to his smell. We've got our work cut out for us. Hold your nose. Shh. I'm going to try to sense this area out for clues. Hey, we're in luck. I'm sensing a mission clue in the music hall. There's another mission clue in the professor's virtual collection. That's in the art gallery. All right, let's go. I love the music hall. Well, the door's locked again, and there's a new password. I hate to bother him, but... Hey, Beethoven! Please, I'm trying to finish the symphony, but I'll be here if you need help. What do you do with a book? Come on. There we go. Man, you're really moving. To make a book, you need to do this first. You need to write it down, of course. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm not sure about this one. Uh Oh, I know what it is. Ah, shoot. You are correct. The password is letter. You just got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. Oh, I wonder who it's from. <laughs> hey, you got us in the door. Let's go. 
I always like that song. <laughs> they say music soothes the savage beast. Let's hope it works on Polly. <laughs> Insult me all you like. I'm still kind enough to offer you a mission key, and all I ask in return is this one little song. Make sure nothing's off key, please. Click on the music tablet to play that tune. The music is all mixed up. If you want to hear how it's supposed to sound, click on me, and I'll play it for you. To play the piece as you've arranged it, click on the play button on the instrument selector. Let's try the cello. Okay. Whoa. Oh my gosh, I know this song. I think I first heard it when it was like on a Backyard Games, uh... Episode once, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Way to go. Yeah. I'm not sure what it's called though. This song is a little sea chanty from the days of sailors and pirates. They sang it every time they hoisted a sail. Wow. <laughs> now put the mission clue in your inventory so we can dance on out of here. A hot dog. Oh, I'm hungry. Shh. I'm going to try to sense this area out for clues. Bingo. I've sensed a mission clue in the professor's virtual collection. That's in the art gallery. Sea shanties. Those are always cool. <laughs> okay, uh, we need to power up the mountain again. Let's go. <clears throat> we need more juice. Just put the correct batteries in place. No room getting fancy here. Let's just get this over with. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah, I win, I win. Oh god, excuse me. Excuse me. 
You know, working in a restaurant doesn't do wonders for your appetite. As all that greasy food kind of gets to you. Yeah. Ugh. It's gross sometimes. You must like art. Remember, click on the machine to look through the virtual collection. Or click on the painting gallery to create your own masterpiece. Just make sure you leave everything the way you find it. Not like Polly, always creating a mess. I definitely sense that Polly has hidden one of the mission clues in the virtual collection. We should investigate. Yeah, let's go. Well, Bootley, maybe you're smarter than you look. I have hidden one of the mission clues inside Daddy's virtual collection. What you have to do is figure out which of his great works of art I hid it in. Give us a hint, Polly. My mouth's too dry to talk. Would someone pour me some water? I'll pour Polly some water right over her head. <laughs> Polly is referring to a painting of a kitchen maid pouring water from a pitcher. It's a scene from everyday life. Huh. We have to find the right work of art to collect the mission clue. Mrs. Beasley? You're looking for a scene from everyday life. A kitchen maid is pouring water from a pitcher. Now choose the correct category, then select one of the professor's works of art to view it on the digital display. Yeah, oh, there it is. The artist who painted this found beauty in the most ordinary of things. Even a simple kitchen maid pouring water from a pitcher. Notice the light spilling in from the window and the water spilling into the bowl. Jan Vermeer was a Dutch painter who found intense beauty in scenes of everyday life. Some artists paint kings and queens. Vermeer painted an ordinary kitchen maid pouring water from a pitcher. <laughs> Even that easy. Here's another obstacle. Not a problem. No need to panic. Just take your time and match the sides. Oh, this is a beautiful puzzle filled with things made by Native Americans. Some of my favorite pieces are here. Hey, I recognize that painting. It's from the book Chasing Vermeer. Yeah, it was a good book. Yeah. I recommend you read it sometime. Yeah, very intense. Hmm, I'm not sure those go together. Um. Uh, I think this goes down here. And the uh, wick. Oh. Um. Sun doll. Hmm. Probably goes there. Oh, okay. And then this, uh, goes. Tobacco. Oh, dear. <laughs> okay. Um, tradition. Something's not right. Oh, these need to switch places. Yeah. Cool. Now grab the clue and we're out of here. <laughs> Interesting Jesus. clock. Now put it in your Okay, there aren't any mission clues on this floor. Let's go searching on another floor. Quiet now. I'm gonna sense out this area. I'm picking up a clue reading in the 
That's just biosphere. Oh, I imagine that's gonna take a while. Yeah. Um. Might as well keep the video going. <laughs> Sorry about that. I had to check on my brother for a second. Being a big brother is being a is a big responsibility. <clears throat> okay. Now we can navigate the explorer around the biosphere by watching it on this monitor. Click on the monitor for a closer look. Goodness. I'm working all day is. Uh, I got a headache. Well, I usually get headaches anyway. Uh, never mind. I should probably stop rambling. Let's just focus on this game. Yeah. This is cool. It sounds like we need to go to the mountains. My hypothesis is correct. We should head straight from the mountains. That was some smooth landing. Now we can open that box. That was nice work. Huh. Store the glue in your inventory and move on. I think we should go to another floor. There are no mission clues here. In the next video, we'll go to the third floor. 